Hello, this is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting with your four minute money message. 2020 was a year unlike any other in the United States as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Working from home became more of the norm rather than the exception. The government distributed stimulus payments and supplemental payments were added to unemployment benefits. Also, freelance workers for the first time in U.S. history accounted for more than 40% of the United States workforce. Now with these multiple checks coming into your household, you may be wondering how will this impact my 2020 tax return? If you are an employee of a corporation and are working from home as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, there are no deductions that you qualify for and this is why. When the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was signed into law in December of 2017, employees could no longer deduct unreimbursed business expenses that exceeded 2% of their adjusted gross income. On the other hand, if you're working from home as a result of having your own business, there are plenty of deductions that you qualify for. I'm going to suggest that you Google Schedule C, Profit or Loss from Business, Form 1040. Notice Part 2 of the Schedule C where you can see various expenses that may be deducted from your 2020 income taxes. Now for those stimulus payments, if you're wondering whether or not you have to pay taxes on that income, the answer is no. The government actually considers stimulus payments more of a tax credit rather than income to be included on your 2020 tax return. If you don't believe me, you can actually visit irs.gov and look for verbiage related to the Economic Impact Payment Information Center and you can read that information for yourself. Now, if you did not receive your stimulus check in 2020, there's something that you can do about that. As you know, the government based your stimulus payments on your 2018 or your 2019 tax return. So as an example, if your income dropped drastically in 2020, you should be able to file or claim the recovery rebate credit on your 2020 tax return. Also in 2020, let's assume you may have had a baby. Again, you might need to claim the recovery rebate credit on your 2020 taxes. As it relates to unemployment benefits, depending on the type of program that issued the payment, that determines whether or not that money is taxable. More often than not, unemployment compensation is taxable, but if you would like to determine your tax status, you can actually visit the Interactive Tax Assistant on the irs.gov website. I think it'll take you about two to three minutes to submit the various data so that you can discover whether or not you owe taxes on that income. Last but not least, for 2020 income tax filers who do not itemize, you can actually deduct up to $300 for contributions um, made in 2020, and these are contributions to charitable organizations. As always, this is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting, reminding you to count your money, then give every dollar you earn instructions so it will behave. Take care.